While Boeing's Starliner is still struggling with its reputation and technical reliability, SpaceX continues to prove why it's considered the leader in commercial spaceflight. Recently, Boeing's Starliner faced yet another serious setback during a crewed test flight. The mission was meant to demonstrate Starliner's ability to safely transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station, but things didn't go as planned. Shortly after launch, multiple technical problems were reported by the crew, including navigation issues, thruster failures, and unexpected fuel consumption. The astronauts on board described the experience as extremely uncomfortable and stressful, with one of them reportedly calling it the roughest ride I've ever had. The situation worsened when the spacecraft's systems became unstable during orbit adjustments. For safety reasons, NASA made the difficult decision to halt the mission and request SpaceX's assistance in bringing the crew back home safely. SpaceX responded quickly by preparing a Dragon capsule for a rescue operation. The Crew Dragon spacecraft was already known for its reliability, and this emergency mission only strengthened that reputation. Within hours, a Dragon capsule was launched and successfully docked with Starliner. The astronauts transferred over and described the difference as night and day. According to one astronaut, the moment we stepped inside the Dragon, everything felt different. It was quiet, smooth, and way more modern. It felt like stepping out of a bumpy old bus into a brand new electric car. Another crew member mentioned how even the seats were more supportive and the interface screens were more user-friendly and responsive. The Dragon capsule is equipped with touchscreen controls, spacious interiors, and a noise-dampened environment, which makes it far more comfortable for astronauts spending extended time in orbit. In contrast, Starliner has often been criticized for its outdated controls and less refined cabin design. This unexpected rescue mission brought huge praise to SpaceX from both NASA and the space community. And just when it seemed like things couldn't get any better for SpaceX, the company completed another major milestone almost immediately after. On April 4, 2025, SpaceX's Fram 2 mission returned safely to Earth after four days in space, making history once again. This was not an ordinary mission. It was one of the most unique and technically challenging flights SpaceX has ever conducted. Fram 2 was a private mission using the Crew Dragon capsule, and it entered a polar orbit, a path that allowed it to fly over both the North and South Poles. This was the first time in history that humans traveled in a complete polar orbit. The crew of Fram 2 was led by Chun Wang, a cryptocurrency billionaire who also financed the mission. The spacecraft launched on April 1, 2025, from Florida aboard a Falcon 9 rocket. After reaching orbit, the Dragon capsule separated from the booster and began its journey in a near-vertical polar path. Most space flights follow an eastward trajectory, taking advantage of Earth's rotation to save fuel. But Fram 2 launched almost directly south, which is more fuel-consuming and technically complicated. Despite that, SpaceX executed the mission smoothly once again proving its operational capabilities. After spending four days in space, the Dragon capsule splashed down in the Pacific Ocean near Oceanside, California. This marked the first time a crew Dragon had been recovered on the West Coast. Normally, recoveries happen off the coast of Florida, but SpaceX wanted to test recovery operations in a new region and reduce re-entry risks over populated areas. The recovery ship was moved from Florida to California specifically for this purpose. According to SpaceX's vice president of launch, the logistical effort was massive but worthwhile. The astronauts remained strapped in their seats after splashdown and exited the capsule without assistance. This was a planned test to study how well astronauts could function physically after several days in microgravity. The results help NASA and SpaceX understand what astronauts might be capable of doing after landing on the Moon or Mars, where help may not be immediately available. The test was especially important because the crew wore SpaceX's standard 35-pound pressure suits throughout the re-entry and recovery process. On the same day, the Fram 2 mission safely returned to Earth. The U.S. military made a massive announcement that confirmed SpaceX's dominance in the space industry. 
the U.S. Space Force awarded $13.7 billion in launch contracts to three private companies, SpaceX, United Launch Alliance, and Blue Origin. Out of the $13.7 billion total, SpaceX received the largest portion by far, $5.9 billion to conduct 28 launches. ULA was awarded $5.4 billion for 19 launches, and Blue Origin got the smallest share, $2.4 billion for seven launches. These launches will take place over a five-year period between 2025 and 2029. To put this into perspective, $5.9 billion is a huge deal even for a company like SpaceX. This amount alone could fund the development of dozens of Falcon 9 rockets, which cost around $60 million each to build and launch. That's enough to manufacture nearly 100 Falcon 9s from scratch. It could also help speed up the development and production of their next-generation rocket Starship. A single Starship launch is estimated to cost between $100 to $200 million, depending on its configuration. So this contract could also support the funding of roughly 30 to 50 Starship missions. And keep in mind, SpaceX plans to make both Falcon and Starship fully reusable. So this money could also go toward upgrades, refurbishment infrastructure, and building new launch pads, drone ships, and ground systems. You might be wondering why SpaceX received the largest share of the contract, but when you look at their track record, it becomes clear. They probably deserve even more. In 2022, SpaceX conducted 61 orbital launches, the highest ever by a single private company in a calendar year. That made up about 34% of all global orbital launches for that year. In 2023, they went even further, launching 96 missions, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy flights, making up over 43% of all global launches. By 2024, SpaceX crossed the 100 mark, launching 109 successful missions, which represented about 47% of all global launches that year. That means nearly half of all space launches worldwide were done by SpaceX in 2024 alone. To date, SpaceX has conducted over 330 orbital missions, with a success rate of over 98%. Out of those, only a handful have experienced partial or complete failures, most of which occurred during the early development years. Since 2020, their reliability has been nearly flawless, with boosters regularly reusing up to 18 times without major issues. In contrast, both ULA and Blue Origin are facing serious challenges. In 2022, ULA managed only eight launches. In 2023, that number dropped to six. And in 2024, they launched just five times. That's less than 5% of the global launch activity. On top of that, the long-awaited Vulcan rocket, which was supposed to replace both the Atlas and Delta systems, faced multiple delays due to technical issues with its BE-4 engines, which ironically are built by Blue Origin. Speaking of Blue Origin, they've had an even tougher time. While they've had success with their New Shepard suborbital space tourism missions, they have yet to launch a single orbital flight with their larger New Glenn rocket. The New Glenn was originally scheduled to launch in 2020, but the date has slipped year after year due to development setbacks. As of 2025, not a single New Glenn rocket has reached orbit. And while they were awarded $2.4 billion in the Lane 2 contract, that award is conditional. Blue Origin must first demonstrate that New Glenn is flight-ready and meets the mission requirements of the U.S. military, something they've yet to prove. Meanwhile, SpaceX has already proven itself many times. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.